The Lost Children of the Inner City, I wrote this sequence of poems, um, I suppose in the face of the continual funerals of young people in the city, from the inner city communities. Um, just the brightest and the best of kids, just, just overwhelmed, I think overwhelmed by what they had to face in the city and the lack of opportunity for those poorer communities. Um, and you know, and I think there was huge negligence uh, in the state's treatment of its, of its citizens, and especially uh, the treatment of these kids who have been denied access across a few generations now. So I wrote this to commemorate those kids, so, uh, so bright, so beautiful, and so excluded from the table. The Lost Children of the Inner City. Molly Malone, out of the debris of history, a song, a name, a life we piece together from odds and ends, the cast off, the abandoned, the lost, the useless, the relics. She died of a fever, the urge to save her, the same urge to gather up the broken and the maimed, and what remains after, a song, a name and tokens of the sea, salty as lifeblood, as tears she is moved to. Though cast in bronze now, her unafflicted gaze on the citizens who raised her and praised her aloft, who are blind as her own bronze eyes to the world of her children. Pray for us. Pray for us who have lost our wings. Pray for us who are broken. Pray for us whose children are cold under clay or swept to sea on the wind. Pray for us who live in darkness. Pray for us who die in darkness. Our children were our song. Our song is over. We are dumb with grief. Pray for us who have lost our wings. The Stone Faces of Dublin. Somewhere in the stone was a smile, a curious gaze. Somewhere in the stone was a human face. Somewhere in the stone was a wink and a nod. Somewhere in the stone was the labourer and the hod. The mason found the gesture like the sky when dark finds a star. History lesson. We read our city like an open book. Who was taken and what was took? Spelt out in brick and mortar. A history lesson for every mother's daughter. Who owns which and who owns what? The devil owns the bleeding lot. Grandmother gesture. My grandmother's hands come back to soothe me. They smell of rain, they smell of the city. They untangle my hair and smooth my brow. There is more truth to those hands than to all the poems in the holy books. Her gesture is home. The lines on her palms are maps. She makes the whole world up. She disappears it, it sings for her. Her song is water, the sky is its colour. She unpicks all riddles and solves the small mysteries. She keeps the wolves from the door. She opens wide the door. Summer comes spilling in with a roar. Window on the city. If you blink, you'd miss it your own life passing into memory, frame by frame. Sometimes you can't be sure of your own name. So fast, the changing face of the city, from where you sit, not the swish of the tiger's tail, not the twitch of the tiger's whiskers, not a glance of his frisky eye regarding just the emptiest sky, pockets that couldn't be any lighter, a train singing on its iron rail. 
Budlia, self-seeding, stubborn, cute. Given half a chance, they root in a hair's breadth, gap in a brick or chimney pot, or fallen into a crack and left for a year. They're a shrub, tough and tenacious as your indigenous dub. When they break into blossom, so free, so beautiful, I name them now as flags of the people.